Hello friends, welcome back or welcome to you. In this session, let's try to understand the concept of how to find out the length of tangent drawn from an external point to a circle. Also, we'll try to solve some problems related to the same. So first, let's understand how to find out the length of the tangent drawn from an external point, let us say P to the circle s equal to 0. Now the general form of the circle is s equal to 0 x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 where center of the circle is given by minus g comma minus f and the radius is given by square root of g square plus f square minus c. Now the length of the tangent we have to prove is equal to square root of s11. So let us first complete the deliberation part. Once we get the formula, we'll try to solve the problems. So first let's go ahead and write down that triangle O A P is a right angle triangle. If it is a right triangle, then we know that we can apply Pythagoras theorem. So, can we write down O P square is equal to O A square plus A P square. Now, we can find out the distance of O P because we know the coordinates of O and P. What we need to find out is A P. We know O A equal to radius. First, let's write down what is op here we will write down op square is equal to x2 minus x1 whole square that is x1 plus g whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square that is y1 plus f whole square and what is oa square let's write down that also here oa square is radius square that is g square plus f square minus c. Now let's go back and substitute these values. We will have x1 plus g whole square plus y1 plus f whole square is equal to g square plus f square minus c plus length of the tangent that is a p square. Let us simplify that. We will have AP square is equal to x1 plus g whole square plus y1 plus f whole square. We will expand them. We will write down x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1. After that we have plus g square plus f square. Then we have minus g square minus f square and plus c. We can cancel g square and f square. What is left out is s11. So we can write down that is equal to s11. What is the meaning of s11? Substituting the value of x1 comma y1 in the circle s equal to 0 is S11. That means we know that AP is equal to square root of S11 or the length of tangent drawn from an external point to a circle is given by square root of S11. Now once we are able to understand this, now let's go ahead and try to solve some problems related to this. Let's go to the first problem. Find the length of tangent from P to the circle S equal to 0 when point P coordinates are given and S is given. So, and we know length of tangent is we have to substitute x1, y1 in the circle. That means wherever x I have to put minus 2 and wherever y I have to substitute 5. So, let's go ahead and try to finish them quickly. Now, what is the first bit? First bit will be x1 square 
that is minus 2 whole square plus y1 square that is 5 square minus 25 that's equal to 4 plus 25 29 minus 25 4 which is equal to 2 let's do the second bit 0 comma 0 so we can write down square root of now substitute 0 comma 0 in x and y values all of this will become 0 left out will be square root of 25 which is equal to 5 let's go to the third bit p is 2 comma 5 so let us substitute the values we'll have 2 square plus 5 square minus 5 into 2 plus 4 into 5 I am just substituting x equal to 2 and y equal to 5 let us simplify that we will have 4 plus 25 29 minus 10 19 19 plus 20 39 minus 5 is 34 so that will be square root of 34 let's go to the next problem let's look at the next problem if the length of the tangent from 5 comma 4 to the circle x square plus y square plus 2 k y equal to 0 is 1 then find k now we have to substitute 5 comma 4 in the circle and square root of that is equal to 1 so let's do that we'll write down square root of s11 equal to 1 s11 is substituting 5 comma 4 we have 5 square plus 4 square plus 2 k into 4 equal to 1 25 plus 16 is 41 41 plus 8 k square root equal to 1 41 plus 8 k equal to 1 8 k equal to minus 40 k equal to minus 5 let's do the next one if the length of the tangent from 2 comma 5 to the circle x square plus y square minus 5x plus 4y plus k equal to 0 is square root of 37 then find the value of k again same we have to substitute 2 comma 5 in the circle that is square root of s11 is equal to root of 37 so we can square and we can remove the roots first let's substitute we have 2 square plus 5 square minus 5 into 2 plus 4 into 5 plus k is equal to root 37 we square it on both sides we will have 4 plus 25 minus 10 plus 20 plus k is equal to 37 simplify 29 minus 10 19 19 plus 20 39 39 plus k equal to 37 k equals to minus 2 let's go to the next problem the last one this problem if a point p is moving such that the lengths of tangents drawn from p to the circles s equal to 0 and s dash equal to 0 are in the ratio 2 is to 3 then find the equation of the locus of p now we have been told that the length of tangents drawn from point p to two circles are in the ratio 2 is to 3 so let's write down square root of s11 divided by square root of s dash 11 equal to 2 by 3 squaring on both sides we'll have s11 divided by s dash 11 equal to 4 by 9 now let us substitute x1 comma y1 let the point on the locus be x1 comma y1 point p coordinates substitute in the first circle we will have x1 square plus y1 square minus 4x1 minus 6y1 minus 12 divided by x1 square 
plus y1 square plus 6x1 plus 18y1 plus 26 equal to 4 divided by 9. Now we can do cross multiplication and simplify that. I will try to finish it in next step because we don't have space. 9x1 square minus 4x1 square that is 5x1 square. 9y1 square minus 4y1 square that is 5y1 square. Then 9 into minus 4 minus 36x1 and 4 into 6 is 24. When it comes to left hand side it will become minus 60x1. Then 9 into minus 6 is minus 54 and 4 into 18 is 72. When it comes to left side it will become minus 54 minus 72 that is minus 126y1. Then 9 into minus 12 is minus 108 and 4 into 26 is 104. When it goes to left hand side it will become minus 104. So overall it will become minus 212 equal to 0. Now since we need locus, we will be removing the point x1, y1 and we will write it as the locus is 5x square plus 5y square minus 60x minus 126y minus 212 equal to 0. So that will be the locus of the point which is moving such that the length of tangent tangents drawn from P to circles S equal to 0 and S dash equal to 0 are in the ratio 2 is to 3. We squared them, we did cross multiplication, we simplified. So this is about the concept of length of tangent and some problems related to that. Please do let me know your feedback. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.